Josh, a 4.68, mate. What were, your, what were your kind of thoughts going through your head? Um, that was obviously in our batting, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, I was, I was really keen to try to keep the game moving, but I thought if I could hang in there and, and see it deep and, and me and Silky could put on a little partnership there, which we did really nicely, I thought we could get to a, a total that we could defend. Josh, what was sort of the whole roller coaster of emotions that you've gone through today? Probably waking up thinking there's not going to be a game, coming to the ground not knowing, losing the toss. Yeah, it continuing to rain. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I guess, looking at the forecast over the last few days, it seemed to just continue to get worse. And, you know, we almost thought that we probably weren't even going to get on it at all. So, I guess, um, but that's not how we wanted to do it. We really wanted to play. We're all so keen to get out there and, uh, and get the job done in front of our, our home crowd. And, and we're lucky we managed to get 12 overs in and then get the job done. Where does it rank in terms of career highlights and, and whatnot? Is this the greatest moment on the cricket to be top there? Yeah. I can't, can't remember the last time I won a grand final or played in one, to be honest. So, um, yeah, this is definitely the highlight and hopefully there's a few more to come. Your nerves last night or as you went out to bat today? Well, I think when you're just ex not really expecting to play, I think you're not terribly nervous. So um, I was actually surprisingly incredibly calm um, sort of last night, all day today. And then when we started playing, I, I still somehow remained calm, which, which I think surprised me a bit. But um, yeah, I guess um, yeah, with, with rain and, and Duckworth Lewis and stuff like that, I think the most important thing is, is remaining calm and just trying to get the job done. And the way your attack set the tone in those first three overs, you managed to get Stoinis and Maxwell out. Did you really believe then that you could go on and win the game? Yeah, absolutely. I thought our bowlers were um, outstanding today. I think we set the tone early, getting um, Stoin, Maxi, um, Hanscom all out in the first sort of five overs. And I think from there, we're massively on top. But it was a really good wicket. And yeah, I guess still anything could have happened, but we still held our nerves and, and bowled really well. Oh, absolutely. I think when I played my first Big Bash game, I was absolutely terrified. So I definitely think after getting a few games under the belt, it's um, you, you get used to a lot of the external noise that, that you don't really get playing, um, you know, sort of state cricket because, you know, when there's 20 or 30,000 people versus 100, it's, it's a little bit of a different feel. But um, it's definitely something I've worked on. And, um, yeah, I guess it, it comes with playing lots of games, I think. Josh. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, love batting with him, and hopefully I can do it a, a bit more down the track. Josh, you're, you're, you're the young pup in that in that batting lineup, and you, you lose James, you, you lose Smudge, you, you lose Moe. How, how did you keep your head together, and uh, where did you sort of find that maturity so quickly? Yeah, look, I think I've uh, had a few games this year where I, where I haven't really, and I've got out, and it's really cost us, so I think a few of them stuck in the back of my mind. Um, and I just knew that if I was out there towards the back end, um, you know, it, it's a funny thing, it somehow just gets easier or you might get a bit of luck and, and you might nick a four or, or just get one away and then all of a sudden it's a different game. So um, I, I just, just try to take it as deep as I can and be out there as long as I could. Josh, what are you now, mate? Do you go back to club cricket, state cricket? Um, back, to, back to WA tomorrow afternoon and then um, I'm in the Shield squad against South Australia, so fly to Adelaide on Tuesday, so uh, straight back into it. Not, not really. Um, I guess you never know until you get there. Uh, I think um, my game's developed so much over the last sort of uh, year, and I think um, I'm really learning how to handle myself in, in pressure situations. So I guess, um, yeah, you never know until you get the opportunity. Um, you know, outside noise, what about inside noise? Is Justin or, or Trevor or Aaron Finch had a chat? Or sort of, yeah, not really, haven't heard much from him. I'm just going to try get as many runs as I can and, and I guess see what happens. Which one was that? Over here, yeah, I did say that. Outstanding. It's not a bad effort.